Hey guys, what's going on? This is Apple Fox channel here and I was about to make an update video about the iOS 11.0.3 on the iPad, but apparently there's something weird going on here. For some reason, an error occurred installing the update. So in this video, I will try to help those people who have similar problem and I'm gonna show them what to do in case a situation like this happens. So let's get started with the video right now. Now I'm gonna show you what exactly happened while installing the update. So when you go into the settings and into the general and software update section, as you can see there is this iOS update just like usual. It says download it and now when I try to install it by clicking on the install now button, it says it is being verified at the moment. But now as you can see this pop-up comes here, it's saying that it is unable to install the update. And of course that an error occurred installing iOS 11.0.3. And I have the option to retry or remind later, but none of those options does anything. And what you need to do now is to come back to the general tab right here and scroll to the iPad storage. And here once everything is loaded, when you scroll down just a little bit, you may see that there is iOS 11.0.3. Its size is about 1.5 gigabytes right here. And with this file, all we need to do is just like delete this update and click delete update one more time. And what this does is basically that it deletes the update and that doesn't mean that you cannot go ahead and update anymore. It just means that you're going to have to download it one more time. And now if we go to the software update page in the settings one more time, wait until it loads and as you can see there says download and install. It's not there like install now because the download has been deleted and this is basically what we wanted to do. Its size is about 275 megabytes and now we just need to download it and install it just like usual. Guys, it is so weird. Just take a look what happens when I click on download and install button. It turns gray, but nothing really happens here. You just wait until something happens and basically nothing happens. There may be something wrong with the iPad. I'm not sure. Now I personally think that it is the best time to restart the iPad. So I just hold down to the power button right here and let's see what happens. So let's take a look at it really quickly here. So let's go into the settings right here, software update. The passcode is in and as you can see the update has been requested. It is another step towards the update. So now it should work. It says preparing update at the moment so I hope it will work this time. And as you can see unable to install the update again. So I'm pretty sad that something like this had to happen. Now let's move on to another option which might work and that is to reset the network settings. So under general let's scroll down to reset all the way at the bottom and there is this reset network settings. So just tap on it and of course enter your passcode. So there it is and click reset one more time. Now as you can see there is this Apple logo right there going on. It has been finished now and just type in the passcode and let's see if something has changed at all. But first of all I just need to connect to the Wi-Fi. Actually not because the update has been downloaded already. So it should work even without the internet connection. After resetting the network settings in the software update page in the settings well, the install now button doesn't even work, it's not even clickable at this point of time. Now what is the next step when none of those methods work? So now I would suggest force resetting the iPad. So just hold down to the power button and the home button at the very same time for a few seconds and wait until the Apple logo shows up or until the screen goes black as you can see right here. And this is the force reset basically. After the force reset action, the install now button now works. The update is being verified at the moment, but this is the screen we have seen already and it was not working. Okay, it doesn't work as we expected. Now I decided to do one more thing. I closed out the settings application on my iPad. I left it like that for a day and the next day I'm here to test out if it works. And apparently the update is being installed at this point of time. To be honest with you guys, I'm not really sure what happened to my iPad. In first place, I have no idea why it wasn't able to install the update. And I also don't know what happened to the iPad throughout the night and why it works. I'm of course glad that it works, but I don't know the reason why. So guys, we finally managed to do it. I definitely didn't expect it to be that difficult at first, but it turned out that the updating was the most difficult process. So now if I go into the settings here and open up the about section of this iPad, you may notice that the version of this iOS is iOS 11.0.3. But here comes the question. What if it wouldn't work even after the one day of leaving the iPad like it is? What would happen if we also got the error message? What could we do next? Well, then you need to connect the iPad to the iTunes and try to update it manually. 
And if this wouldn't work, you need to download the third-party iOS version from some kind of website and you need to sign it through iTunes. In order to do that, you need to press the Shift key on Windows and click on the Update in the iTunes and choose the file. And on Mac, you need to do pretty much the very same thing, but with the difference that you press Command and then click on the Update and also choose the file to download it. So guys, that is the end of this video. I really hope I could help you if you had a problem like that. And in case you did, then let me know what worked for you. And if none of those options work, well, then you need to find an authorized service or bring it to the Apple Store. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it useful, then hesitate with clicking the like button and also subscribe because I'll be making a lot of videos about iPads and Apple in general. So stay tuned for more. Have a nice day and see you in the next one.